Okay, YouTube, uh, I've got another customer dropped off this uh, bay liner. It's got an 85 horse force, as you can see. Um, he just wants me to do a health check on this engine, uh, probably compression check and spark. Um, see if, uh, you know, see how it runs. He said it, it, it seems to run okay. Um, I just noticed that he's got a, a bit of a damaged prop down here, and that could be part of, uh, you know, maybe a performance issue. I don't know. Could cause some vibration, but uh, you should get that fixed. Um, but I'm going to pop the uh, top off this thing and uh, take a look at the engine, and we'll uh, we'll do a compression check and spark check and see, you know, what uh, what kind of you know runability uh, issues we might have. Um, so stay tuned. Yeah, this engine looks almost identical to the uh, to the Force engine, the '85 horse that I worked on. Uh, oh God, it was last last summer, I think. Anyway, I've got a, a six part series on that, rebuilding the carburetors and everything else. So, um, but uh, this is almost identical to that engine. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it is actually. It's got the uh, same coil packs and the uh, CDI. Yeah. Okay. Well, three cylinder. We'll do a spark check, compression check, and uh, go from there. cared for so I'm going to uh, kind of do a health check on this motor and just make sure that uh, you know the owner says it runs okay it just wants it tuned up and, uh, and so we'll do a compression check maybe a spark check and and go from there and just see if it, if it actually does need anything make sure the spark plugs are the proper spark plugs and uh, uh, and put new ones in if we have to so uh, okay so stay tuned about 130 we got 130 on the top cylinder which is good One twenty five on the second cylinder. <laughs> and one thirty on the third. One thirty on the third. So very good compression. All right, Wyatt, go ahead and try it. Okay, I see. Okay, try it again. I just wanted to show that's a uh, one of the spark plugs that came out, and it's all carboned up. You can see that. That's definitely going to affect performance. I clean this one up. I'm going to clean it up some more, but it is coming off. So, and I've only cleaned one out of the out of the. Uh, you can see how badly carbon these are. Um, it's probably due for some new spark plugs. I'm going to look up online to see if, you know, if this uh, is the actual spark plug it's supposed to have, first of all. 
UL18Vs, probably. Uh, they, they sound familiar, but uh, I'm going to ch look it up. But I'm going to clean these up for now, and we'll run it in the uh, test tank. I've got it set up out there in the test tank. I've got to fill it, and we'll uh, we'll run this motor and see what it see what it does. So stay tuned. Okay, I did look up the spark plugs, and these are the correct ones, the uh, UL18Vs. So I'm going to clean these up. I did already. Actually, I did already as much as I can. Um, so I got them nice and shiny looking, at least on the electrode end of it. That, that maybe that uh, insulator down there is is brown, but that's probably normal. Um, but these are all cleaned up, ready to go back. So I'm going to put these in, and we'll start it up. I just used some brake cleaner and uh, this stainless steel brush, and it did a pretty good job. So. Anyway, I'm going to install these and then uh, we'll go from there. Maybe we can get this thing running, see what it sounds like. Hi. Well, I've got a jump, jumper on it. And another battery, but it's disconnected. It fell off. I just want, I, I, I saw it. Um, I'm going okay, to Okay, hold on. I guess I'm going to see if I get this still start. Now, stand back.
pull that out of the neutral. Breeders do need to be gone through. I'll uh, call the owner and let them think, let them know that's what I think if it doesn't want to stay running. Because it does seem to want to sputter, and you know, unless it just needs to do spark plugs, and that could be. But we've got sparks and we've got good compression, so the only other thing is if this has got an idling problem, installing issue, is the carburetors need to be uh, gone through. So, anyway, stay tuned. Maybe we'll do that. So. I don't know. Do the ground book. Go in a house. Okay. I'm coming down. Okay. Ooh. Papa, go. Just give me. <laughs> Papa, do we only taste water? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can it's possible. This is exactly right. Hold on, come here. Come here, come on. Yeah, I vented it, but... Yeah, it's tight. See if it makes any difference. I vented it, but I'm not sure if it... If it was vented properly. So I'm going to start it up again. It behaves the same way.
one and a half turns out. see the grime that's built up all around the uh, shift or the uh, choke linkage on top of the carburetor is like particles of crud right there look at, look at the crud well, yeah, I'm sure all of that has gotten into the carburetor probably clogged up the idle circuits to where this thing stalls you know when you put it in gear that's what he was complaining about the owner and um so i i think that this uh this does need a, a carb rebuild all three of them are probably plugged up i mean it does run but i'm gonna start it up again just to see if there's any improvement but i, I really don't think so well, let's let's find out the customer was complaining that he couldn't get it to stay in neutral. Well, this is the neutral switch and this is the neutral position. When you pull this out and engage it forward, it's supposed to go into the neutral position, stay in the neutral position while you engage, while you engage the uh, throttle. And it, it seems to be working now, but it wasn't before. So now I'm in the warm up position. It is a neutral and I, sh I should be able to start the engine. I can pull this back out and hopefully engage it without putting it in gear. So that's opening the throttle up. It's allowing it to increase idle without putting it in gear. So that is functioning. Now when I squeeze the trigger, I should be able to advance the throttle and put it in gear. And hopefully it doesn't stall. See, it's warmed up and it's not stalling yet. We'll see what happens. We'll let, it, let it run like this for a bit. When I played with the air mixture screws, the bottom carburetor was only one half or one turn out from slightly seated. And that really is, I, I don't think that's factory spec. I think one and a half is best. But, I mean, it is working now. It is actually performing, but it looks like it wants to stall. It's running kind of rough. Yes, you can see, you can feel it starting to, starting to fog. It 
shouldn't do that. I'll pull it back into neutral, maybe it'll the ladle will pick up a little bit. And it did. better I think so a car a car rebuild I'll take them apart clean them maybe put some new needles and seats in them if I can find the rebuild kit packages and go from there but the throttle is working properly the warm-up lever's got to come out and then you advance it well it just stalled because it tried to go into gear let's see again <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't, there we go, now it's in neutral. We can rub it with, with the handle. So it is, it does work, but you gotta play with it for some reason. You gotta keep playing with it. You can't, you can't advance the throttle, keep it running, but it just doesn't seem right to me. It should be running smoothly. And it's really not. I'm going to put it in reverse and see what happens. Okay, it, it, it seems to be okay. Try forward. She shouldn't be. I'm pulling it out. There. Now it went into neutral. Something is sticking. Something is not functioning correctly here. This should go into a detent and for a warm-up. It's not even hitting the detent. It's going directly into neutral throttle. It locks back in.
there. That's the detent. Well, it's tripping deep. No, it's not. It's actually going beyond detent. But that's still neutral. Maybe, you know what, there's a, a screw in here. Maybe that needs to be tightened down inside here. There's a, this cap should come off. Maybe I'll, I'll take this off and, and see if I can't tighten that up. That might be the only problem. But I mean, it is running. And it is idling. Let's put it in gear. I mean, it's staying running. Maybe it's, he's just got, he isn't warming it up long enough. Neutral again. Putting it in gear. just difficult. It's being difficult. It's in gear like that. And I don't want it to be in gear. I want it to stay in neutral. like you got to go in reverse and then go forward to get it to stay in neutral. See, I can rev it now. When I bring it back, it locks. There, it's starting to, it's starting to act right now. And then when you push it in, Now it goes into gear. So, you know, maybe these carburetors are okay. I, I, I'm going to... I'm going to let him know. I think it's more into the end of this throttle he was having issues with with a sticky throttle maybe then with the carburetors themselves now it's in neutral just you take it back a little bit now it's in neutral I think you just got to learn how to use this thing warm his engine up properly And then it's got to lock back in place so that when you put it in gear, it stays on. So again, the procedure would be in the warm-up position, pull it out, go backwards a little bit, then forward, like that. That's your warm-up. go back into position there kind of lock lock it back in and now you can go into forward gear oh no it did stall 
Let's see, maybe I didn't do it quick enough. Try it again. Nope, she wanted to stall. Well, maybe those carbs need to need a good stain. You just gotta, you, you really gotta push it into gear fast. You can't delay, you gotta get it back into that warm up position. Idle it fast enough where it stays running. So anyway, I don't know. I think maybe if we do rebuild the carburetors, that will behave a little bit better. Just being idling. Maybe from just tweaking those idle air mixtures, screws help some too. starting to lag a little. You can almost hear it running to start. There it goes. All right, well then those carburetors do need built, rebuilt. Okay, I just wanted to verify that. It should have stayed running, and I think I even see fuel leaking out very badly. You can see it dripping. Yeah, we need to, we need to fix those carburetors. So that's the goal. That's our next objective. So we just got to find parts. Okay. Well, all right. So stay tuned. The whole problem with this, why this wasn't functioning properly was because that screw wasn't tight. This screw has got to be tight and it's got to be secure. Now, when you pull this out, it engages the throttle. It engages that throttle. You can see it move, pull it out, engage. And you can see it advances just a little bit, and it stays in neutral. The neutral switch stays in neutral, and that's what you want. So all I had to do was pop that cover off and, and, and tighten that up. That's it. And it says pull to neutral. Pull for neutral. So you pull it out, and you... Pull and forward, that's warm up. Now, if you want to go more throttle, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to have it in gear to go more throttle. But that's all the throttle is gonna give you in neutral. That's it. That's your warm-up. You bring it back, you pull the you pull the switch, and now you're advancing throttle all the way full throttle. And that's it. So that's nice and tight. That's what we want. So that'll perform better. Let's see. Let's see. Start it up again, and we'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe she won't uh, act as weird. Put it past the throttle.
it does. So that, that shouldn't happen. That shouldn't really happen. That should stay. And then you can see fuel just pouring out of these now. So, okay, we know it's a carb issue. So once they're rebuilt, we'll revisit this. And then uh, maybe I'll, what I'll do, I'll make a video on rebuilding the carbs. And um, if we can find the kits, because we need rebuild kits for them and gasket kits. And uh, we'll go from there and uh, hopefully fix the problem. So thanks for watching.